I know it's over, Frank. <laughs> that's all right. That's fine. Um, <laughs> look, I've been thinking a lot about what you said. And I, I do believe that you loved me. You just don't love me anymore. That's all right. That's fine. I understand. Thursday in love. Friday, not so much. <laughs> Look, I I thought I'd just drive over and apologise for yesterday. I I was just so confused. I mean, we've been together for seven years, Frank, seven years. But that's okay. (laughs) That's fine. But I I think think we can still be friends, Frank. Do you think we can still be friends? I'm I'm sorry I changed the locks, Frank. Look, any time you want to pop on over and pick up your stuff... Just call me and you can come over and look, I'll I'll make us a nice cup of tea and we we can laugh about all this unpleasantness. (laughs) Frank, I'm driving my car and I want to go fast, but there's this slow car that won't let me pass. I flash my lights and I honk my horn. I had to consider him warned. So I pulled up behind him and I pulled up my pistol and I blew him away. Seven years, Frank. Seven years. That's okay. That's okay. This son of a bitch, he cut me off. Three whole lanes he cut across. Well, he made me mad and he made me swerve. Son of a bitch got what he deserved. Cause I pulled up behind him And I pulled up my pistol And I blew him away But I think we can still be friends, Frank Don't you think we can still be friends? Jesse James behind the wheel It's high noon in my automobile You can call me crazy You can call me sick Oh, but I gotta get where I'm going too quick That motorcycle Riding between the banked up traffic, right between the lanes. Now, you know what I mean? That's an act of war. I saw him coming, and I opened my door. I knocked him over, then I pulled out my pistol, and I blew him away. (laughs) Frank, you'll you'll laugh at this, Frank. Um, Last night, I was at the laundromat doing the washing and I was folding the bedspread and I noticed one of your jock straps in the washing machine, drowning in the wash cycle, twisting and turning and being mangled and manipulated into all sorts of painful positions. Then, strangest thing, I started to imagine that you were still in it. And I'm la- I'm laughing, Frank. <laughs> I'm hysterical. <laughs> People are staring, Frank. This woman comes up to me and she says, I should be careful not to inhale too much fabric softener. That's when I heard your voice. And I looked into the machine and you're in there, Frank. And you're trying to say something, but I can't quite hear. So I lean into the machine. What is it, Frank? Speak up. What are you trying to say to me? <laughs> Jesse James behind the wheel. It's high noon in my automobile. You can call me crazy. You can call me sick. Oh, but I gotta get where I'm going too quick. That little red sports car flying past made me jealous. He was driving so fast. Well, I gave him the finger and I thumbed my nose. Well, it took me 50k to get close enough to pull up behind him and pull out my pistol and blow him away. I don't think we can be friends, Frank. I think, I think we should break up as enemies. I think I'd like to hate you openly instead of being all adult about it. And if being adult means dumping me for that slut you picked up at Sexpo, Frank, well, then I think that the very best thing that I can do for you is to rip your face off.
so much better. <gasps> Look, Frank, that little old lady, bless her heart, she's walking her poodle across the boulevard. It's wearing a red knitted sweater and a red knitted hat. Its name is Fifi or something stupid like that. I said, here Fifi. And I pulled out my pistol and I blew it away. Frank, I blew it away. I ripped your face off, Frank. I blew it away. Looking good, Frank. 